Just after the Second World War, William Walton met his future wife, Susanna, in Buenos Aires. Not long after, they set up home on the Italian island of Ischia. A plot of land was purchased, which was little more than a lava stream, and on this they were to build their home. While William was composing music, Susanna was planting the seeds and laying out the garden, which is now known as La Mortella. We had tea with Susanna one afternoon, and she told us a little about Ischia and her garden. Well, it has seven, six or seven villages, so yes. that's already something. Yeah. It's quite completely different from each other. Exactly. Yeah. So then you have, um, you, know, you can go to Sant'Angelo, it's yeah. lovely. Yeah. You can go and have all the hot water, because yes. of course Capri is only the Apennines going into the sea, See, it's not yes. volcanic. But Capri yeah. has a lot of plants that are endemic that we don't have. I bought them, I go and dig them up, and I shouldn't them, because I dig them up and bring them a long, yeah. long way to see them grow up. But Russell Page never wanted anything taller than a meter planted, because he said on islands, the, the wind is so ferocious. It has taken 51 years for her work to be completed, and throughout this time, William Walton gained an international reputation for his music, much of which was inspired by the beauty of the garden. Following Sir William's death in 1983, the property was given over to the Walton Foundation and for a small entrance fee, the public can visit the garden. All of the income from the garden, together with royalties from Sir William's recordings, now help finance and educate budding young musicians, providing them with a secure future while under the blue Italian sky, Susanna's garden continues to flourish. <laughs>